What's up folks, this is Jasper Fox making yet another YouTube video. Um, this video will be focusing on one of the things I've had um, as a little child. <laughs> Basically it's going to focus on science and religion. Now, when most people hear this subject, they usually think science versus religion. Like it's a battle between the two. You know, <laughs> but actually, when people think about, like, there's a new light to think about it this way. Like, you can't have one without the other, usually. Like, without religion, science probably wouldn't come to exist. And without science, who knows where we'd be with religion? I don't know. Uh, this isn't from a scientist's perspective, obviously. I'm not a science geek. And I'm not an overly religious nut. I am religious, I'm just not over the top of it. Um, well, anyways, what I heard about it was this, kind of. Actually, uh, let's see what I should do. So, I'll just talk about the similarities between science and religion. Like, <laughs> like science usually has questions, multiple questions, just like religion does. Science is... <laughs> A lot of people have heard say, God is science. And other people say, God gave us science. So, who knows? Like, that's just one of the similarities that meshes together, once we think about it. And, uh, you know, one of the things, like, these kind of things just don't work when they're separate. And it can't be a question of either this or that. I mean, I'm tired of that. Like, as a child, I was interested in science. I was interested in inventing. But at the same time, I was also raised in a Catholic family. So, and the, as I got older, I realized that sometimes it looks like science conflicts with religion, so I kind of get the field up a little bit. But, you know, then I got older again, <laughs> and I started to think, well, it doesn't have to be one or the other, it can be both. Like, I'm sure there are scientists out there who also go to church every Sunday, or every day. And I'm sure there are religious people who actually agree with what scientists say. Like, some people think that science versus religion because of what we believe, or what we think. Like, on the science perspective, like, let's think back to where it all began, with the first people, first humans. Um, science starts with the Big Bang Theory, and I haven't heard any objection objections about the Big Bang Theory on religion's perspective. And then, you know, a bunch of other things, evolution, comets, or meteor, volcano, famine, white dog, dinosaurs, never heard anything on the religious perspective, but here's what I did here that was religious. Adam and Eve. Now, those were said to be the first human beings created by God himself, Garden of Eden. Now, science hasn't mentioned anything about that. It's just mentioned that eventually we went into evolution, you know? The process of going from the caveman to human. Or rather, from apes to man. Something like that. I don't know the entire details. But, uh, you know, there's no objection... The only objection from that onto that is Adam and Eve. You know, there's evolution, Adam and Eve. And, uh, well, then we move on down the line. Then we go to multiple things, etc., etc. Uh, hmm. well, then there's something like we all know that science has some goals in life that religious people can object to. Like, with, like, in the Ten Commandments, 
like thou shalt not kill, thou shalt like treat thy neighbor with like, love thy neighbor lo as you love thyself or something like that. I'm sorry, I haven't been in the church in a while. <laughs> and science, well, some of its things require certain tests to be run sometimes, and they usually use animals or dead humans. Now I know that. Not all scientists do that, but I do know that there are some people who test on other people. <laughs> At least I believe. Human guinea pigs. Sounds horrible. Uh, anyways, now we just boil down to the simple basics. Like the conflicts with science and religion. The conflicts with religion, sci like, with religion, the conflicts against science are some of the experiments that they do. Like, they think that some of the things they do are morally wrong, or that they are incorrect, or whatever. And with science, usually they believe that we were meant to have this. If they're religious, then... If they had some religious background, then they would believe that God was meant for us to have this. Maybe it's true. Yeah. And I think that's true. Maybe God did mean that for us to have this. Now, there are some... some but there are also some scientists who say there is no God, only science. Um, it's fine that they say that. I don't care. They can say that God doesn't exist. They can say that. They can say multiple things. That's fine. They're, like I can't change their opinion, and I'm sure as hell I'm not going to go anywhere arguing with a scientist. However. I'm also not going to get anywhere if I change sci like if I change from religion to science and I take science aside go against religion. That's not gonna get me anywhere either. Because that's just one voice against thousands or millions of people. And it's not gonna make a difference. However, we have to think that's like those questions that science and religion raise us. It's actually how we got here now. I think about it. With science, it's how we learn, how we process, how we move on in life. Because we do become more advanced as we get older. Like, I showed in one of my videos an example of the iPhone. How within, I mean, mere, like, less than, just only a few centuries with Thomas Edison, he came along, and then now we have this. I mean, that's a short span compared to how many years ago, like, around 65 million years ago, scientists, ex like, dinosaurs exist, existed. And then we evolved into the cavemen after dinosaurs became extinct. Now the cavemen evolved into the human being, human being eventually discovered lands, and they became inventors. They started making things. And then we go from there to the empires, the kingdoms, the empires, all the way down, like ancient Greece, Rome, and then there's Jews, and then there's Jesus. Now I haven't heard any religious objections to, I mean, not any religious, any, scienti like, any scientific objections to Jesus. I haven't heard anything about how he did what he did. I don't know. Like, maybe that's just something that we'll have to <laughs> await a response. And, you know. Still, after that, then we go from that to the empires, like the Holy Roman Empire, Byz like Byzantine Empire, Ottoman Empire. And then we go from the empires all the way down to countries, monarchies, to democracies, where we are run by the people, republics. <coughs> you know, like it starts with that little chain. We have all these countries, and then eventually there was just this one section that strayed far from a large circle. And then eventually those parts broke up, broke up, broke up, 
until eventually there were no more empires and technology just became more advanced. We started with the light bulb, radio, car, more tea. I still see some of those, believe it or not. And then we get further. You know, we also go on to this. This thing right here. And then we have this, the fan. And we just keep inventing. We just keep moving on. And it all spans from science and religion. So it's not a question of one or the other. It's just, you know, it's just that. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, I'm sorry. But, you know, like, there's no verses, it's just and. Without both of those things, we wouldn't be where we are now. And you can say what you want, this is just my opinion. What I believe, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just a perspective. And, uh,. You know, you don't have to agree with me. I mean, as a scientist, you may say, hey, <laughs> like, the scientists, some of you may say, yeah, that's how it happened, or, what are you talking about, Jasper? That's not how it went. And as a religious person, you could say, say, oh, yeah, I, I see it. that being possible. Or you could say, what? Well, don't be stupid. <laughs> or, or rather, <laughs> Oh uh, shit, I had something for this. Um. Oh yeah, rather. Harrison! Body by the stake! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a little joke. Or as an atheist, you would say, I agree with more the sciences than the religion, because there is no God. Now you're free to say that, just don't shove it into my face. Like, I mean, like, don't know. Like, I've come across people who would cram those words down my throat. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's just not right. Uh, uh, shit. What else was I going to talk about? Well, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. You can like, like, hate, comment, share, whatever you want to do with this video. It's yours to do what you want. And I will be trying to make more videos in the future. Most likely there will be vlogs, but I shall do what I can. However I can. <laughs> um, you know, things like that. Thank you for taking this video out, and I am very thirsty. Um, that's all I got.